Sagittarius, thanks for visiting. Uh, this is your reading for June 24th to June the 30th and if you like this reading, uh, as I always ask you, please like, subscribe or leave a comment if that's what you'd like to do. Uh, I don't mind, I don't mind. Um, yeah, and I'm just going to start your reading right now for Sagittarius. Um, yeah, the first card you have here passed is the Knight of Pentacles. So yeah, obviously this is the slow card. I'm seeing stopping, waiting. Um, I'm actually seeing someone who, yeah, I'm actually seeing someone who is waiting and watching. Um, I think someone was waiting for you, actually. Uh, I don't think you knew that that's what they were doing. Uh, they weren't saying anything to you. I don't think they were saying anything to anyone. Um, you know, I think to everyone outside of them, it looked as if they were just happy, stable, concentrating on their work and everything else they had to do. Um, yeah, no one knew. No one knew this was how they were feeling. And I think they still might be feeling like that now, actually. This is someone you used to talk to. Uh, you might have even spoken to them every day at one time. Uh, yeah, you don't talk to them anymore, though. And uh, yeah, I think yeah, they think about you all the time. They still do all the time. They think about you all the time, this person. Um, I think they'd really like to be with you deep down, but I don't know if... Um, I think you might be with someone else actually because I'm feeling a lot of loving energy around you. Um, I don't think this person who's waiting for you would ever mess up any of your other relationships or anything like that so you don't have to worry about that. Um, you know and I think part of them would really like to move on but they can't so you know what's happening is I think they're waiting for one of two things to happen that they'll either uh, be able to let go and move on they're waiting for that to happen it hasn't happened yet or that you might become available again and then you know so it's kind of like whatever happens first that's the way they're going to go so that's what that that's where their mind is but they would never tell anyone they'd never tell you they'd never tell anyone else they're keeping this totally to themselves and um, also I think they're known as being you know for being a really stable really sensible person I think no one really knows that they have these really really strong feelings and uh, yeah, they're very strong feelings. They think about you all the time, all the time. That's what I'm seeing in that card. Um, so yeah, the next card you have your past is the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of changes happening around you, lots of changes, and I think this is around work. Um, maybe there were some structural changes that were going on if this is a company you work for, because I'm seeing, um, you know, a lot of movement turning around, people having to move around and things like that with this wheel turning around. Um, I don't think you were directly affected by any of this. I think there were some problems and arguments around some of these changes. Uh, a lot of people weren't happy. Um, you know, I don't think you were fantastically happy about it or anything like that, but you were just staying out of all of that. You know, I'm also getting a bit of a feeling of restlessness around this as well. So maybe you weren't uh, super happy in your workplace, but it was fine. I'm not seeing any great big problems, but I think, you know, I think you will move on from this um, eventually. You might be thinking about moving now actually to another workplace, but uh, you know, you're not saying anything to anyone. And I think, I think when all these changes were happening um, around you, uh, I think you just wanted to keep your head down, actually, and just get on with your work. You know, you, I think you wanted to make sure that your job was protected. And I think you were doing that by just minding your own business and kind of uh, not drawing attention to yourself, just getting on with things. Um, you know, I'm just looking at the Sphinx on top of this wheel and, you know, he's defending himself. So you're defending your job, but he's also blending into the background. His body's the same color as the sky. So you're kind of just blending in, you're just kind of keeping your head down, getting on with things. And, um, you know, even though this is probably where you don't, you know, you probably don't want to be here forever at this workplace, but, you know, you didn't want to mess up what you had either. You were trying to save money, I think, and you were trying to stabilize what money you had. So I think you have been a through, been through a lot of financial ups and downs. I see that in your readings quite a lot. Um, and you didn't want to have any of these upheavals ever again. So you're just keeping your head down, not making any waves, 
minding your own business. I think you were thinking about what was going to come next, what other opportunities were there, but you weren't telling anyone anyone about that. You weren't saying anything about that. You're just keeping your head down and getting on with it. That's what I'm seeing. So the last card you have your past is the Two of Cups. I love this card. Um, I'm seeing a connection here. I'm seeing a love connection. Uh, it might not be a totally stable relationship yet, or it might be just in the early stages maybe, um, or it might be that things are progressing slowly. I think this person who's around you, I think they actually might want to move a little bit faster than you'd like to. Um, you know, I think they'd like things to be a bit more stable than they are right now. Um, you know, you're happy with this person. I'm not seeing any problems around this. Um, but I think, yeah, I actually think you might have had to sacrifice something um, to be with this person because I'm seeing um, moving, moving away from home or something like that um, and uh, or moving away from people. Uh, I think there might be some people maybe in your family who don't approve of this partnership maybe for some reason and uh, you might have distanced yourself from them. That might be what that is. So for you, I think you feel as if you've already sacrificed quite a lot for this person and that shows them in your mind that you do care for them, that you want to be with them. And also you just want to take things slowly as well. You know, you're an independent person. Uh, the woman on this card's wearing uh, red shoes uh, and that's a symbol of independence. And, uh, you know, you just want this to grow naturally, that's all. You don't want to kind of pressurize this. There's, you don't want pressure. I'm feeling pressure and you're trying to kind of resist that pressure. That's what I'm seeing. So uh, I think you might have been a few, been through maybe a, re a relationship before in your past where there was kind of a lot of pressure around it. Maybe there was pressure to label things, if that makes sense. You know, label it as in a relationship or, you know, engaged or blah 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 you just didn't want all of that you just wanted it to grow naturally organically you just wanted to enjoy your time with them you just wanted to see what was going to happen and they definitely felt very differently to that and even now I think they'd like more from you I think but um no you want to take your time uh you don't want to feel pressure it's not like you're dragging your heels and you're kind of stringing them along or anything it's, you know, you tell them you love them, you want to be with them, but you just don't want pressure. That's what I'm seeing. So, yeah, the first card you have your presence, the uh, Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so, yeah, this is their worst, this is their worst nightmare. This is what they're worried about. This is the independence card. This woman's the most independent woman ever and she just wants to be by herself. She's got her own money. She's got everything she wants. She doesn't want anyone around her at all. This is their absolute worst nightmare. This is what they're worried about. They're worried you're going to wake up one day and you're going to say, oh, I don't want to be here anymore. I want to be by myself. Goodbye. Now, that's that's what they're worried about but you don't feel like that at all you really don't you don't want to leave you're happy with them it's the pressure you don't like you don't like the pressure that's what i'm seeing and um i think there also might be some pressure coming from their family as well so there's pressure coming from all different angles and it's really making you feel uncomfortable that's what i'm seeing um you know i think what they don't understand is if this is all resonating um if they just stop pressuring you, uh, I don't think they mean to do this. They're, sh they're just anxious, but um, you know they just don't want to lose you. But if they'd stop putting pressure on you, um, you'd probably come toward them a lot faster anyway. You know, if they just relax and let things go, then you'd kind of want to come toward them. That's what I'm seeing. So you know, I could say you know talk to them or whatever, but I think you've already done that. Um, this is really all about them. Uh, their insecurities and uh, I think they need to address to address that on their own. Um, I think they might have actually been uh, left before or maybe they were even abandoned. Um, there was something that's kind of making this a lot worse than it actually is in their mind. So, you know, I think this anxiety, uh, I think it might run quite deep actually. It's not easy for them. It's really not. I mean, I'm not making light of this. It really is uh, quite difficult for them. So the next card you have your present is the uh, Ten of Pentacles. 
Yeah, this is what I'm seeing here. Um, what they want more than anything is protection. I think they might have been ignored, maybe even abandoned. I'm seeing that again in this card, maybe by a family member at one time, because there's a family on this card. I'm also seeing, um, yeah, I think more of the same happened to them after that. I think they might have been in a relationship where someone might have left them and they felt very, very vulnerable after that. So now they want to experience that nurturing, that protection that comes with family, like the family on this card that's all kind of sticking together. And there's an arch um, in this bridge as well, and that represents, or that, that, you know, that represents protection as well. So I don't know if they've told you all of this, that this is why they're feeling like that. They might not even realize it themselves. It might be subconscious, but um, subconscious, I can't speak. But um, yeah, that's where they're coming from. That's what I'm seeing. And that's probably why, you know, they want this connection to happen so quickly. It's like they want to connect. They want to have that kind of family, that connection. And they want that to be kind of solid. That's what I'm seeing. They want to really feel that protection. Um, yeah, I just wanted to say, I know this is really specific. Um, and that's what happens to me sometimes. I just, you know, I hope the messages read the right, reach the right person or the right people. I can't speak again. I don't know what's wrong with me. So yeah, the last card you have for the, for your present is the uh, page of cups. Um, yeah, I can see another reason why you just decided to keep your head down in the workplace, apart from what I was already seeing. Um, I think there's quite a bit of childishness in your workplace, actually. And yeah, yeah, a lot of changes are happening. I'm seeing that again. And of course, not everyone's going to be happy with everything. I mean, there are waves behind this man and no one likes waves. Everyone likes to keep things as they are. But um, I think there are a lot of people who complain a lot about silly things, actually. And uh, you, know, you just don't want anything to do with that. A lot of the complaints, not everything, but a lot of them are about sort of trivial things. And some of these problems aren't even about things. They're about grudges between people. And you just don't want anything to do with that. You know, I think some people might have tried to get you involved. I'm actually hearing a little bit of gossip going around as well. You're totally right to keep out of all of that. Um, and, you know, you have a life outside of this, you have other, other things you're doing and, you know, you just want to keep totally out of all of this. And I'm really glad that that's how you feel because I can see, you know, I can see why you're looking at other opportunities as well. If this is resonating, I would be too. It sounds really, really terrible. Um, but it's not that, it's not like it's so terrible that you can't bear it. But, you know, there's a lot of, I think a lot of the problems you have in your workplace are around the kinds of people that are there. And so, you know, you just put your head down, you just come home after that. And I think you might be keeping your eye open for what else is around as well. So the first card you have your future is the, yeah, the five of pentacles. Yeah, I think this might be about this person in the knight of pentacles. Um, you know, on the outside, I think this person looks as if they have everything. You know, they have, a, and they do have a lot, they do. They're a hard worker, they're a high achiever as well. So they do have a lot um, financially. So on the outside, I think people see them a little bit like the stained glass window, full of coins, happy, you know, lit up, welcoming. But on the inside, I think they might actually feel a little bit like the people in this card underneath this um, stained glass window. So, you know, this person misses you. They'd never say anything. Uh, they might actually know that you're in a relationship, I think. I'm getting that. And that might be why they're so quiet about all of this, about how they feel. They don't want to upset you. They don't want to say anything. And uh, deep down, I think they'd actually like to send a message to you. They'd love to talk to you. Uh, they'd actually like to send a telepathic message to you because they don't want to talk to you directly. I know that sounds a bit crazy, but uh, when people are heartbroken, sometimes they can be a bit crazy or feel a bit crazy sometimes. We've all been there. Well, I have anyway. Um, you know, I'm seeing this telepathic message because I'm looking at the boy on this card and uh, he has a bell around his neck and bells send messages through the air. You know, they ring out 
over the air to bring a message to people, you know, to remind them to, you know, come into church or come into school or whatever. And um, I just keep on seeing they'd never physically contact you ever, especially when you're with someone else. But deep down, they'd really love to. They'd love to send a message to you, but they can't. That's what I'm seeing. And, um, you know, I think they really do want to move on. They don't want to feel like this. They want relief for th from this. And uh, I think that's just going to come with time. They will eventually move on. That's what I'm seeing. But it's very hard for them. Very, very hard. Um, the next card you have your future is the King of Cups. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I think, you know, if you're looking at other opportunities, other work opportunities, um, I think there might be one coming up ahead of you. I think this might be something that's kind of a combination of something creative it's mostly creative but it combines that with something technical um i don't know if this is something in it it's something like that but it's very very creative um because this king of cups is the creative um king he's all about being creative so um i don't think you'll quite have all the qualifications for this actually but don't let that put you off if that's the case because i think there might be some kind of in-house training or they might want to send you out for some kind of specialist training, maybe something like that. Um, the opportunity might actually come from someone you know, I think. Um, yeah, you might have to brush up some old skills as well. You might have had these skills before, but they might not be so up to date. So you might have to do that as well. Um, you'll get help with doing this, I think. Um, and also with this opportunity i'm not seeing a great big increase in money to start with i have to say but um if you do do this there will be bigger increases later on so um i think the financial gains are going to come in you know as time goes on and uh, yeah you're going to put have to put in a lot of work and uh, there's also but the big thing i'm seeing here is creativity creativity and technology so it's like you're going to have to use your right hand right side of the brain and your left side of the brain at the same time a bit like this king you know his body's facing one way and his eyes and his head's facing the other way so you're using the left and the right both sides of your brain that's what i'm seeing um so yeah the last card you have your future is the three of cups so yeah i think this is following on from the king of cups this is about an opportunity I think you might actually see this, you might actually do this, go for it if you do, uh, because um, these three women, they're obviously celebrating a harvest, a lot of work's gone into something, and uh, it's over and they're all celebrating. So again, this is showing me that if you do take up this offer and uh, you put in the hard work, obviously you're going to be rewarded and it's financially and also this is showing me that you know you're around these not very great people in your workplace look at the people here it's not like you're going to be dancing around your workplace with wine well that would be very nice but that's not what I'm seeing there obviously um, but you're going to be very happy with the people around you you're going to have some really really good friendships really good people around you in the workplace so you know again Say yes to this if it does come up for you. I really, really hope that does resonate with you because I think you're really, really looking for a new place to go to in the workplace. Um, so yeah, I just hope that does resonate with you. So Sagittarius, um, yeah, again, I hope that resonated. But as you know, general readings can't always resonate with everyone. But again, uh, if you like this reading, please like or subscribe or leave a comment if that's what you like to do. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching.